to check to what you're saying about the internet being a game changer. It has decentralized education. There is nothing in any university in this country or in the world that you will not find on the internet free. On a Wikipedia, on a Google, on a what what. Elon Musk has spoken about it. Gary Vee has spoken about it. I think Mark, Mark Zuckerberg has spoken about it. The companies like Google and Amazon have moved past what degree to you, do you have. They want to know your proficiency. What's, what problems can you solve? And a lot of these kids are going to tell you, I can solve these problems just because I watch videos and I learned how to code. There's videos that will teach you Mandarin, Spanish, French, how to code, how to fix a leaking tap, how to service your own car on YouTube. There's the Khan Academy, which teaches you maths and science. It's out there and it's in the power of our hand. When our Walubu is in my jive on TikTok, Upenu and Nosbu are, are empowering themselves and turning themselves into robots. The days Patuama robots, Tina, will be able to speak to them because they'll be able to recognize that this guy's got a, a crazy knowledge base. We'll be linked to Inuralink, yeah, Elon Musk, where he's trying to get our brains to connect with the internet. So that Maukuba Zegile. There's a movie called Upgrade. Maokuba Zegile, the, the, the machine can, can speak to your body and speak to your brain. Maybe speak, uh, fix your speech if you, if, if you stutter or whatever. We'll be able to do that. We'll be able to merge and work with machines. And Aban will be selling a move and they will literally become apes. You'll be an ape. I know, Marmelele. You're not ready. Yo, yo, yo. Can I tell you some scary things? Because uh, I used to be very against, I used to be against the concept of getting microchips. But that's what they're saying. Me too. I've always been, even in the mind. Yeah. I am. But they're saying these will be obsolete by now in 2030. Sure. That's what they already said. Did you listen to the World Economic Forum just last week? Two weeks ago. Oh, Klaus and the boys. But see, these are go oh, Klaus. So, so I want to tell you something yeah. scary. My brother and I have had these conversations because I used to be very much against, <laughs> some people call it the mark of the beast, triple yeah. six. Yeah, yeah. A microchip. Jeez, it's, it's crazy on how a lot of conspiracy theories have become so true. Yeah. Over the years, but anyway, yeah. A microchip is going to be put into your body. Um, it's going to check everything, like analytics. It's going to check your temperature. It's going to check what to shot down with why, proteins, whatever. That's microchips and we're scared of them, right? Thank you so much, Buddha. Sure. The microchip is, is, is going to be sold as something that will improve you. It'll tell you that you're getting sick. Stop drinking. You're getting drunk. It's going to tell you this is where your lungs are at, so don't smoke right now. It's going to check your vitals, it's gonna, and it's going to communicate with you in real time. And you're going to say no. People get contact lenses now to improve their vision. People get hearing aids to, to improve their, their hearing. People get fillings and false teeth to improve so that they can eat. We, are, we already have implants in ourselves they they primitive compared to a chip but we already have implants and one of the things that i've heard before is you're running away from a chip but you're already carrying a chip every day that's listening to all your conversations that's already got your data the difference between you holding a phone and a chipping inside you is literally just going to be that and you'll be like um please tell me how far is tembisa from here and it'll speak to you and say you whatever and you're like okay please and maybe you'll be able to communicate with your car. Please tell the car to take me to wherever. And you're going to say no for the longest time. And you're going to see other people doing it like Uber. Uber is the concept of you putting your child in a car with a stranger. But we're doing it. We're going to sign up to microchips the day they come because they're going to sell us such an amazing proposition. Lento Ishoyo, Uguti, go on YouTube, learn. The microchip is going to say, don't go on YouTube. The day you need that information will guide you step for step in your head. What do you want to know? I want to know how to say hello in Mandarin. Oh, it's ni hao. And it'll tell you in your head. You'll be like, oh, ni hao. And you're like, how do you know that? You're like, no, my, my, I just spoke to my chip. And they're introducing this obviously via propaganda. If you watch one of the latest Spider-Man movies, uh, the Marvel, uh, Tony Stark, Iron Man, who's like a tech guru, and apparently was modeled uh, after Elon Musk in real life. He's the real-life Iron Man, apparently. He builds the suit for Spider-Man that communicates to him because Iron Man has got a suit with Jarvis, which is the chip. It's the Siri. It's the whatever voice recognition that you use. And his suit speaks to him about everything. My Kodola, the suit warms him up. If he's not sure what's happening, if he wants to hear something far away, if he hasn't touched his phone, it's like, listen, your mom's trying to get you. Don't worry, I'll solve it. There's something missing in your fridge. You don't have milk. Don't worry, I've ordered it for you.
It's fine. Stop spending money. It's not within your budget. And it, you will take that chip. I'm telling you now. They call it predictive programming. Yes. And they've been doing it for many decades, for many years. What we think is Hollywood and we think it's entertainment and we just keep watching movies. We keep watching our superstars, our Hollywood legends. We keep watching the Oscars, the Grammys. Predictive programming. And just how great at marketing themselves Americans are. Yeah. Marketing themselves to the whole world using Hollywood. Of course. And that's why a lot of people would say even Hollywood itself is captured. By the CIA. And they would say the CIA is actually a division. <clears throat> is, a, is a division of the cabal that sure. is, is run by the cabal sure. that actually runs Hollywood. Yeah. And a lot of the movies that you would watch that have to do with CIA agents yeah. traveling the world and um, doing certain things to certain yeah. countries, it's because actually a lot of it or most of it is true.